day, some might say all white. <laughs> hey, welcome to TFI. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your model look proper white, as white as it gets. Uh, you might be sat there thinking to yourself, oh, oh, oh God, mate, you're so dumb. All you do is change the colour. All you do is drop this down. Well, it doesn't work like that, really. I mean, obviously, that would be the first thing to try. So I'm using the Autodesk Appearance Library, which is the one with the most appearances and textures in. Scroll down to W's, select White, which is an out-the-box white texture. And it doesn't look very white to me. It's kind of off-white, light grayish kind of color. And just to validate that, uh, we can go to File, Application Options, the Colors tab, Presentation, One Color. And then this is uh, the background set to as white as white gets, true white. And you can clearly see the model is an off-white, kind of light gray color. So the problem isn't that white isn't white. Well, it's not. It's Autodesk have trolled you a little bit by making the white color not quite white. But it's not the problem. The problem is the lighting style isn't... It's The lighting style's dimmed. So what we're going to do to fix it is you'd select your view tab drop down the lighting style list and then go to settings. Now, I don't know which lighting style you're using. It depends on if you've played with it or which version of Inventor you're using, but it's going to either be grey room or two lights. And uh, each, well, I, both of these have got different settings because one's an image-based lighting style, the other one's a standard lighting style. But you select your lighting style, the one that's bold, and then you go to the lighting tab, and then you select the tab with the on bulb, right? That is That means that that is the light that's cast against your scene. And then you go to these sliders and you want to grab brightness and then crank that all the way at the top. And look at the model as you're doing it. The model goes brighter. And you do the same for ambience. And the model brightens up a little bit. Now, it's not perfect white yet. Obviously, we're verifying that with the background. But you want to go to the environment tab as well. You won't get the environment tab on the standard lighting style, I don't think. Uh, you only get this on the image-based lighting styles. But you want to grab the exposure tab. And then if you, if you crank this all the way at the top, it now is a perfect white. But... If you've got any texture applied against your uh, your model, like a bump map, any detail in the material, you're going to lose that, uh, which you might be all right with. But you might want to just strike a balance, maybe just drag this down ever so slightly so it's kind of white, but still not bright enough so that you lose the detail in your model. So something like that, maybe. Okay, then hit save and close, and then that's it. That's your model set to white. Uh, there's a couple of other things you can do just to maybe perfect it. If you select the appearance browser, this thing here, on the top toolbar, and then right click on the texture in your scene, right, that one there, we're using white, right click on him and go to edit, and then you can change the color to be perfect white. So this is the RGB value. You wanna click in here, and then select define custom colors, and then just grab the slide bar, this little triangle thing here, and then grab that and slide that all the way to the top. So your red, green, and blue values are 255, 255, 255, which is the RGB for true white. Click OK, and then that will have made it slightly whiter. It won't have made that much of a difference, nowhere near as much as uh, changing the uh, sliders in the lighting style, but that does make it slightly whiter. And then we can shut that down and then save it. Yes, indeed. And then there you go. It's as white as I need it to be. Just again, to verify, you can go to the shadows, for example, and turn off shadows. And then you can see there that's looking pretty white. And then if you change this to realistic, you can barely see it. It's that white against the white background, which, which is a lot better, isn't it? It's a lot better than changing it to, to sketch illustration, which who can use that? I mean, those edges are absolutely hideous. You can't put that in a manual. You can't print that out and put it in a manual. It looks absolutely goddamn awful. Uh, but there you go. That's how you make your model white. So it's not really that the color isn't white. It's the lighting style that you need to think with. And just as one final point, because this will confuse somebody uh, and catch someone out. The changes that we've made are only applied to the part that you're working in right now. It won't apply itself to other models that you're working on because the changes are local in the document. These textures up here at the top are saved and cached in the model. If you need to make this a permanent change for everything, then you've got to you've got to upload this into your custom style library, which isn't it's another thing altogether. I have made a video on how to do that already. I'll link that in a card up at the top right, uh, which is quite an old video, but I'm thinking it's still valid. It should be. Uh, I don't think much has changed there, but that's how you would change the uh, the texture kind of permanently if you like. All right then, so you do it. So you make your model true white. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Toodles.